Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Nowadays, the current situation of our generation is experiencing a critical thinking crisis. Even many of them doesn't know how to improve critical thinking skills. Therefore, today I would like to discuss about the effects of using inquiry-based learning on EFL students' critical thinking skills. And hopefully, this will bring a better insight for you. This journal was written by Van Halen, Der Wally, and also Kasti Schiffer de Shaw in 2020. But before that, let me introduce myself. My name is Adinda Cahaya Nisutrianto. I'm from English Education at University of Surabaya. Next. To begin the discussion, we have to know first the importance of critical thinking skills using inquiry-based learning. But first, let's discuss what critical thinking is. So it is an ability to ask or answer insightful questions in order to reach on a comprehensive understanding. It also consists of interpretation, analysis, evaluation, inference, and also self-regulation. So why critical thinking skill is important? The integration of critical thinking skill can develop students' problem solving, decision making, and also communication skills. So what is inquiry-based learning? It is a method of learning, including making posing questions, examining sources, gathering, analyzing, etc. And why using inquiry-based learning? Because it can develop the interpreting, analyzing, evaluating, inquiry, explaining, and also self-regulation skills, which are the core of critical thinking skills for students. The next, I have found a problem regarding this study. So the problem is the conventional way of teaching is lack of inadequacy to prepare university graduates because students are assumed to develop the critical thinking skills depending only on books, lecture notes, and also handouts. So what is the solution? We can use the inquiry-based learning where critical thinking skill is emphasized among students. So the research question of the study is, what are the effects of using inquiry-based learning on EFL students' critical thinking skills? The aim of this study was to examine the effects of using inquiry-based learning on students' critical thinking skills. Next. And these are, are the literature review that support the integration of this study. As stated by Ahmad in 2018, having a free medium of student learning class where students will share good experience through an inquiry process that is based on curiosity is a preferred learning method. Also, studied by Lesnar and Craig in 2010, when students participate in real-life situations, they can develop effective research skills, adapt, and respond better to change. And they also prepare to the development of critical thinking skills. So why do we use inquiry-based learning for EFL students' critical thinking skills? It's already stated by Yen in 2014 that in learning situation like inquiry-based learning, critical thinking is emphasized, which are means that students aim to understand the ideas with range of explorations and follow new leads, and they learn with curiosity and interest of the topics. Next, the study is conducted by following research methodology for the first research design. The design of this research was quasi-experimental design that imposed a time series design. 
And for the participants, in this study, a total of 20 ESL second year undergraduate university students who enrolled in advanced writing skill course were selected using comprehensive sampling methods. And for the instrument, for the first one, the test that comprises both pre-test and also post-test was used to gather data on students' critical thinking skills. And also, the focus group discussion was needed to gather qualitative data on students' critical thinking skills and bio empowerment. And for the last, the student reflective journal was employed to collect data on the effectiveness of inquiry-based learning on students' critical thinking skills. And for the data analysis, it is using one very repeated measures or ANOVA and using the statistical package for social science or SPSS. And next. Finally, we are now talking about procedures of the research. For the first step, preparing the teaching material, considering the components of inquiry based and inquiry based learning and critical thinking skills. And then three consecutive argumentative insight reading pre-tests were administered to the students to identify their critical thinking performance before the intervention. And following the pre-test, the intervention was given. The intervention was an inquiry-based argumentative essay reading instruction that delivered for four weeks. When intervention was given, the student reflection journal was collected from the student. And the next step, the participants were given three consecutive argumentative essay reading post test, which were identical and similar with the pre -test. By the completion of the post test, the focus group discussion was conducted. And the next, we are talking about the result and the discussion. Yes, so the first one, inquiry-based learning can foster students' abilities to interpret, analyze, invert, evaluate, explain, and self-regulate. Also, in the implementation of it, students learn how to generate and organize ideas through investigation and discussion to find out the alternative idea. And for the last, students have developed their evaluation and inference skills by using inquiry-based instruction. For the next. Now, finally, we are talking to about conclusion and also the suggestion. So the findings of the study revealed that the use of inquiry-based learning in foreign language learning classroom empower students' critical thinking skills. And also, inquiry-based learning has positive impacts on students' critical thinking skills, which include interpretation, analysis, inference, evaluation, explanation, and so self-regulation. And for future studies should be also conducted on the effects of using inquiry-based learning on students' speaking, reading, and also listening skills. All right. I think that's all of my presentation and our discussion today. If you have any question, please kindly ask me through the chat box in the comment below. And also, if you like this video, you can click the like button on this on the below all right wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh